Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I want to show you how to build a better bushcraft hammer. Stay tuned. To make this bushcraft hammer, you're going to need a few simple tools. First, of course, we have our Granfers Brooks Wildlife Hatchet, little Gerber sliding saw. And what I have here is a one inch scotch eyed auger and I just made a, a piece for it to screw into the end uh, from birch so it could have a, a protection over the point and I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can get this scotch eyed auger the neat thing about the design of this is that this hole right here is one inch so whatever this auger will drill you can size to this hole and uh, it will work great and it'll fit right in so it's a really great it's bushcraft size it's made specifically for that then of course we have our tool roll if you watch my videos for any length of time you've seen me demonstrate this tool roll and uh, the main addition of course is the scotch eye auger and uh, if you'd like I'll go ahead and put a link up here where you can watch this uh, tool roll or uh, also I have another video that is entitled best bushcraft tools I actually have a couple of those and uh, I can put a link to that as well. The other thing you're going to need is a couple of small sticks. This one has a Y on the bottom and you'll see why in a little bit. And then I took the time to cut a notch in the top of this one just with a saw, just a simple notch right here. And then this small stick here uh, we're going to use a little bit later to whittle down in our project making a better bushcraft hammer. One of the first things we want to do is go ahead and remove the cap here off of our Scotch-Eyed auger and it's just a, a simple cap whittled down to fit on here and then screws on. And Of course you can see how the Scotch-Eyed auger works. And then we've got our stick. And what I've got to do is I need to whittle this down so the Scotch-Eyed auger will fit on here so they can use this as a handle for boring out our hole into a the uh, hammer head. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll get back with you. Okay, so we have our stick whittled down, shaved all the bark off, rounded the bottom and rounded this part here of the hook. And now, as you can see, we take the scotch eye part, the auger, and it fits on. Now we don't have to go all the way down. Uh, again, it's a good handle size. Uh, this is a one inch uh, auger. As I told you already, and it slides on and off pretty well. So that's exactly what we want. It's a nice, tight fit. All right, let's go find our hammer. Okay, so what we have right here is a piece of red oak that uh, fell off a tree in a storm. And uh, looks like Spirit's come over here to be with us. Come here, Spirit. Now he's busy smelling the leaves and the acorns. Anyway, he's over there. He'll probably show up in the video in a minute. But anyway, I've got a pretty large piece of oak here that's going to make us a great hammer. So let's go ahead and show you how we're going to process that. So looking, so looking right here at this piece of wood, got some bits of branches and things that have fallen down. What I want to look at is the size. I'm looking for a certain diameter. I'm also looking for a piece of wood uh, that hopefully doesn't have any rotten pieces in it and also something that I can uh, trim down. Now before I go ahead and cut my piece I'm going to go ahead and use the Scotch-Eyed auger to drill a hole in it because um, it's a whole lot easier to do it as a whole piece than it is to cut off a little short piece and then try to hold it and use the auger. So let's go ahead and do that. This section here looks pretty good and uh, it's about the right length. I don't want a great big huge hammer. So looking at something about right there. Let's go ahead and take our cap off. Lay it down but we won't lose it. Figure about how where we want the center of the hammer head to be. Make sure that we're straight up and down. Now this is laying at kind of an angle. So I want to make sure I don't go in at a, at a strange angle but at a 90 degree.
All right, we're through. All right, now that we're through with the cap back on, our Scotch-Eyed auger to protect it, keep it sharp, we pack it away, take the handle out, and now what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this piece of wood here and I'm gauging about how big I want my hammer or mallet to be. And so, again, I put the hole about right in the center of where I want it to be, so that's a good thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this off on both sides and then I'll get back with you. So we got this cut out. There's the hole for our handle. We drilled with the scotch eyed auger, as you can see. And now what we want to do is we want to trim off a lot of this outside. Uh, this is too heavy and it also uh, of course has the bark on it. We want to make it look a lot better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Granfers Brooks wildlife hatchet and we're just going to trim it down a little bit. All the way around. It's going to take some weight off. It's going to get the bark off and get it down to a much more decent uh, layer of wood. It's going to be a little harder. It's going to kind of keep it in a round shape here. Nothing super fancy. All right, I'll finish this. I'll get back with you when I'm done. Okay, so we've got our head cut out with the hole drilled, beveled the edges on each side, and we have our handle with the knot, notch rather, cut in the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in like this. Now. That notch, of course, is for a wedge. And what we want to make sure is that we don't split it this way. The wood will split this way. So we want to make sure our pressure is front to back against the grain. So that's why we have it cut this way. So we put it in and we put the wedge in. It's going to split or, or not split this out, but it's going to put pressure front to back instead of side to side so we don't create a longitudinal split in the top of the mallet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hammer this in here and uh, I'll get right back with you. All right, so we now have our hammer with the Y branch in it. You can see the split there. And now we're gonna take the other piece of wood, this piece here, and we're going to whittle off the bark and make a wedge out of it. So just simply shave it flat. Doesn't have to be a big wedge, just about that long. I'm gonna do that, I'll get back with you. All right, we've got our wedge carved out and thinned on both sides so that we can fit it down inside of our hammer top like that and the handle. And we're just gonna take the hatchet and we're gonna tap it in. All right, like that. Now we're gonna take the saw, trim it off. And there we have our bushcraft hammer, wedge inserted, shaved off even. And the nice thing about this, with this handle, is when you hammer with it, it's not likely to fly out of your grasp. But it's a nice, solid, solid, steady mallet. And uh, as this dries, this is still slightly green, it's going to shrink up around this tightened spot, and it's going to make that even tighter. Stay tuned, there's one more thing I want to show you on this. The other thing you can do to your bushcraft mallet to make it more effective is no matter what kind of wood you use, eventually the ends are going to start to want to mushroom out and it's going to want to split the wood from a lot of hammering. I have a video called Survival Hose Clamps and I could put a link to it right up here. But if you have your hose clamps, you could put it on, on your hammer. And I've got two fastened together on each side, so for a total of four to give me the proper diameter. But now, I have a proper bushcraft mallet 
very well made, very sturdy. It's going to hang together. I could put this on a branch to hang it or a, or a line when I'm not using it. It also helps for me to have something to hang on to while I'm hammering and pounding in stakes so it doesn't slip out of my hands. This also makes a pretty good tent stake puller if you want to pull it from this side. So you can hook it in there, pull your tent stakes out. I hope you've enjoyed this Better Bushcraft Hammer video and uh, make sure and leave your comments in the comment section below. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time. It also helps for me to have something to hang on to while I'm hammering and pounding in stakes so it doesn't slip out of my hands. This also makes a pretty good stent take puller if uh, 